Hello everyone, as promised, this is my full analysis of the economical system on Undecember and of course I'll answer the big question, is it a pay to win game? I'll start with the in-game shop and the battle pass. Beyond the quality of life that you can buy in the shop, you still have a lot of increase to your character. Even if it's capped, you can spend a few hundred euros if you wish to increase the power of your character. For this, it's more a pay to fast because other players can reach the same level by grinding the game. The boost given by this battle pass or in-game shop are not that broken and still possible to compensate with the gaming time. Second point that you need to fully understand is that in the shop you have two currencies. The first one are the diamonds and the other one the rubies. The thing is that you can buy anything in the auction house with your rubies, meaning that you can buy any part of equipment with real money. If you want a legendary weapon or armor, you just need to have enough euros to pay it. Still very hard to understand why they make this choice and if you wish to stay free to play players you need to cope with, especially or I think of selling your items for rubies in order for you to get without paying with real money. In the end, in my opinion, and December got one fit in pay to fast and the other fit in pay to win. The only question is that can you compete in the end game against players who fully buy their equipment. Also, if you wish to do so, you'll probably need to spend a lot of time in the game. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you fully understand how the currencies work in end December and as usual feel free to post in the comments if you have any question or opinion on it.